revision topic verbs in our previous lesson we understood that all sentences can be divided parts that is subject and predicate the subject straight what the sentence is about the predicate makes a statement about the subject look at these sentences Juggler played with four balls. Let's underline this. Full stop. Don't forget that the sentence always starts with a capital letter. and you must end it in full stop if it is a affirmative sentence and negative sentence and if you are writing an interrogative sentence then the question mark has to be there so let's take one more example all the children sang the song let's underline this part so in these sentences the words which i have underlined are the predicates in sentence 1 the juggler what is the juggler the juggler is the subject okay it is the subject fine and in sentence 2 what is the subject all the children all the children is the subject in both the sentences there is one word that tell us what the sub subject actually did or what actually happened so what did the juggler do the juggler played okay all the children what did all the children do all the children sang so the words sang and played so the words sang and played are what they are verbs what are they they are verbs so the words sang and played are the verbs verbs played and sang
are expressing are expressing some action okay but action words are not the only verbs so words showing showing being and possession are also called verbs a verb denotes action or being or possession note all sentences must have a verb with a subject okay let us now understand object of a verb look at these sentences number 1 yuvraj caught the ball so in this sentence what did yuvraj catch so caught what what did he catch he caught the ball all right so the ball is the object of the verb caught and let's see example 2 the patient needs medicine so what does the patient need okay so needs what what does the patient need the patient needs medicine fine so medicine is the object of the verb needs okay the third example is the teacher praised praised the child the teacher praised the child okay so praised whom whom did the teacher praise so 
here here the teacher praised the child all right so the child is the object of the verb praised fine here the child is the object of the verb praised so here in the fourth example my father loves me so whom does my father love loves whom my father loves me so here in this sentence me is the object of the verb loves okay so here in this example me is the object of the verb loves therefore if we frame a question using the verb and the word what or who then the word that answers the question is the object of the verb understood i hope you all have understood what is object of a verb now let's un understand transitive verbs so some verbs do not convey a complete meaning by themselves for example the chief minister made okay so do you think so is it a complete sentence no it is not a complete sentence and it is not conveying the accurate meaning okay and that means it is not delivering the complete meaning it is not conveying the complete meaning the pick up eight in the second example also the same thing is there okay so if we will add object to these sentences so what will happen what will happen the meaning will become complete okay the meaning will become complete so let's let's add an object so the chief minister made an appeal okay so what did chief minister do he made an appeal okay so the pick up eight apples okay so now it is making a complete sense all right so just uh, read the sentence one more time the chief minister made an appeal the pika ate apples okay so so a verb that requires an object to complete its meaning is called a transitive verb okay so what do they call they are called transitive verbs let's now understand intransitive verbs some verbs are complete by themselves they do not require an 
object to complete the sense all right for example number 1 the stars are twinkling so what are twinkling the stars are twinkling sentence 2 the child smiled so what did the child do he smiled the child smiled so a verb that doesn't require an object to make sense but makes good sense by itself is an intransitive verb okay so if you will see these sentences they are clearly conveying the complete meaning but they do not require any object to complete its sense so these type of verbs are known as intransitive verbs so let us now understand what are auxiliary and main verbs all right let's see so auxiliary verbs are verbs used with another verb that is main verb to make tenses passive forms and etc for example she has left she has left okay so here in this sentence what is has so has is an auxiliary verb okay has is an auxiliary verb fine and what is left left is the main verb okay i'll repeat again in this example she has left so here has is an auxiliary verb and left is the main verb let us see the second example he was making a new house he was making a new house so over here what is was what is was over here was is an auxiliary verb and making is the main verb fine was is the auxiliary verb and making is the 
मेल व सो देर आर थ्री प्राइमरी auxiliary verbs be have and do i have briefly explained be have and do in my previous session so there are three may uh, auxiliary verbs be have an however the primary auxiliary verbs can also be used as may verbs all right so let's see the examples here he is decorating his here is what is is here is has been used as an auxiliary verb because it is helping the main verb that is decorating okay now let's see the next example he is happy here <coughs> is has been used as the main verb why because in this example is is not helping any other verb okay it is making the complete sense by itself and has been used as the main verb i hope you all have understood the revision of verbs kindly please practice the exercises at home which i'll be posting bye bye